Okay, good morning. Welcome to you. Coming after we're 956. 956. So we're, uh, we're continuing our exercise in uh, the 50 challenge in problems and probability. And this is actually problem number two. So it says, uh, this is the problem is called successive wins. To encourage Elmer's promising tennis career, his father offers him a prize if he wins at least two tennis sets in a row in a three set series to be played with his father and the club champion, alternately. So either it goes father, champion, father, or champion, father, champion. All right. All right. Okay. Um, uh, according to Elmer's choice, the champion is a better player than Elmer's father. Which series should Elmer choose? Okay, do you understand the question? Yep. So this is, now that I've zoomed out, this is the book 50 Challenging Problems and Probability by Frederick Mosteller. Okay, so either we're going to go father, champion, father, or champion, father, champion. The champion's a better player, and Elmer has to win at least two, at least two. I think two consecutive games. Right, at least two in a row. Mm -hmm. Right, so, well, first of all, explain what you, well, actually, just give me your thoughts on this problem first. Well, he well he doesn't have to win the first game. He could win the next two games. Yeah. Uh, so if he wanted to, he could. If he chose this series, he wouldn't have to win the first game. But then he would have to win the next two. Or he could just win all three. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, just off the, it seems like. This third series might be better because it has father, champion, father, and the father is a worse player than the champion. Okay. So there's less games with the champion. But you have to win games in a row, so it might be a little difficult. Alright, what do you think? Um, yeah, I think it's, I, I, it's kind of hard to see because like, overall for winning like all of the games, I think this one would be better because you have a better chance of winning these two games, and then, but here, I don't know, for just winning two, I'm not sure which one would be better. Because you have, you have father champion or champion father, in, in both, so. Okay, so you guys are, right now you don't have a, mm -hmm. okay. so what, what do you think would help uh, us get to the bottom of this question? Well, we can put some numbers. Yeah, we could assign some probabilities. Us to win, like, each game. Okay. So, maybe we say, like, if the probability that Elmer wins against his dad is one half, so... And maybe the probability that he wins against the champion, we can say that's a third. Okay. Good. So we'll do calculations in the, in the, next, in the next video. But this is, this is good, because that, does that help you do any hand-waving here? Does that... I want to, before we dive into the calculations, I want to see if you know if you have any real guesses before we go. I think it might be this series because if you choose this series, you have a, a pretty good chance to win one of these games. But to win this game, if you lose that game, you can't win the two games in a row. But if you have a high probability to win this game, then you have a lower probability to win either of those two. But you only have to win one of those. Ah, okay. So there's a pretty interesting thought. Um, um, so I, I think they might be the same. Ah, okay. Cool. So, because you've got... You either have to win Father Champion or Champion Father. And that's, that, that appears here. Father Champion is here. Champion Father is there. And here it's just flipped. You Champion Father first and then Father Champion. Okay. Alright, so that's an interesting possibility as well. Actually, it might not matter. It's not necessarily true that one's bigger than the other, and may, maybe they're the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so let's um, let's dive in. We may as well use these as our chances of winning and, and see what we find. Yeah. 